Hi guys, meet again in my video tutorial. This time, I will make a drawing of a pan handle with the surface command. Let's start right away. Click top plane, then choose sketch. Create center line. Then create arc. Mirror entities. Create arc again. Add relation with midpoint. OK. Set width at 30 millimeters. Length at 139 millimeters. Inside width at 22 millimeters. Sketch fillet at 10 millimeters. Radius at 20 millimeters. Offset entities at 15.75 millimeters. Add relation with tangent. OK. Exit sketch. On the front plane, choose sketch. Convert entities for sketch 1. Then change to construction geometry. Hide sketch 1. Offset entities at 0.75 mm and 11 mm. Create sketch arc. And create line. Vertical relation point. Sketch fillet radius at 8 millimeters. OK. Set angle at 20 degrees. Tangent relation. And vertical relation point. Exit sketch. On the Feature Toolbar, choose Projected Curve. Then select Sketch 1 and Sketch 2. OK. On the Front Plane, choose Sketch. Create Center Line. Then create Sketch Arc. Connect two points with a center line. Make perpendicular relation. Set left height at 10 millimeters. Middle height at 9 millimeters. And right height at 5 millimeters. Exit sketch. On the right plane, choose sketch. Create center line. Midpoint line. End line. Mirror line. Then create sketch arc. Add relation of arc in midpoint. Set height at 20.5 millimeters. Draft angle at 1 degree. Fillet radius at 9 meters.
coincident. Okay. Exit sketch. On sketch toolbar, choose 3D sketch. Convert entities for curve 1. Okay. Create sketch arc. Coincident. Change this convert entities to construction geometry. Exit sketch. On the surface toolbar, chose surface loft. Select open group profile 1 and open group profile 2. Right click and choose selection manager. Then select open group 3 for the guide curve. Select sketch 3. And select open group 4. OK. Click sketch 4, then choose planar surface. OK. Hide curve 1. On the surface toolbar, choose swept surface. Select edge, as a sketch profile. Then other edge, as a path. OK. Choose delete face. Under options, check delete. Then select face to delete. Extend surface. Select edges to extend. Check up to point for end condition. Select this point. OK. On the front plane, choose sketch to create surface cutting line. Create line. Then create sketch arc. Convert entities. Trim entities with the corner options. Set dimension at 30.8 millimeters. 5.2 millimeters. Four point three millimeters. Exit sketch. On the surface toolbar, choose trim surface. Then select sketch five as a trim tool. Choose keep selection for the surface. OK. On the sketch toolbar, choose 3D sketch. Select curve one, then choose convert entities. Delete this convert entities. Show sketch 3. Select this construction line, then convert entities. Hide sketch 3. Exit sketch. On the surface toolbar, choose lofted surface. Select edge and open group 1 as profiles. And select open group 2 as a guide curve. OK. Click front plane, then choose mirror on the feature toolbar. Select surface trim as a bodies to mirror. OK. Create new plane, then select three references. Vertex, vertex, and point sketch 2. OK. Create sketch on the plane 1. Select three edges of the entities to convert. OK. Create arc. Then make tangent with convert entities. Trim entities. Create line to close profile sketch. OK. Then on the surface toolbar, choose planar surface. OK.
Show 3D Sketch 1. Then choose Surface Loft. Select Open Group 1 and Edge 1. OK. Click Front Plane, then choose Mirror. Select Surface to Mirror. OK. Hide All Sketch. Choose Trim Surface, then check Mutual Trim Type. Select 4 surfaces. Then keep selection of the surfaces. OK. Choose Lofted Surface. Right click the Choose Selection Manager. Select Open Group 1 and Open Group 2. OK. Knit Surface. Select All Surfaces and check Create Solid. OK. On the top plane, create sketch. Center line. Line. In mirror entities. Sketch arc. Set angle at 10 degrees. Arc radius at 12 millimeters. The distance from left edge at 9 millimeters. Sketch fillet radius at 4 millimeters. Sketch width at 30.5 millimeters. Then on the feature toolbar, choose split line. Select face to split. OK. Create sketch on the front plane. Offset entities at 1 millimeter. Click edge. Check offset geometry. Check reverse. OK. Show sketch 7. Convert entities. Then select entities to convert. OK. Change to construction geometry. Create two vertical center line. Trim entities. Create sketch line. Add relation to Pierce. OK. Exit sketch. On the sketch toolbar, choose 3D sketch. Create sketch arc. Set add relation in coincident. Exit sketch. On the surface toolbar, choose lofted surface. Select profile and guide curve. OK. Create loft surface again, for left and right area. Hide body and sketch profile. Then choose Knit Surface. Check Merge Entities. Select three surfaces. OK. Show Body Part. Click Surface Knit, then choose Thickened Cut from Surface Toolbar. Set Thickness at 2 mm. OK. Fillet Radius at 1.5 mm. 
Okay. On the feature toolbar, choose shell. Set thickness at 2.5 millimeters. Select three bottom faces. Then set multi thickness at 4.6 millimeters. Select side face. Okay. On the surface toolbar, choose delete face. Check delete and patch. Select face to delete. Okay. Choose draft on the top plane direction of pull. Check reverse direction. Select edges of parting line. Set draft angle at 3 degrees. OK. Set fillet radius at 30 millimeters. And 4 millimeters. OK. Create sketch line on this surface. Midpoint line. Set the dimension at 11 millimeters. Change this line to construction geometry. Then on the feature toolbar, choose extruded boss. Set offset value at 1.5 millimeters. Up to next direction. Set thin feature at 1.5 millimeters. OK. Choose draft on the feature toolbar. Click this face as a direction of pull. Select parting line. Draft angle at 3 degrees. OK. Fillet radius at 2.5 millimeters. And 1 millimeter. OK. On the side face, create sketch. Choose circle diameter at 6 millimeters. Set the distance at 7.2 millimeters. Then choose extruded cut. OK. Now, we make hole of the handle. Create sketch on the front plane. Choose center line. Change to construction geometry. Mirror entities. Select entities to mirror. Create sketch arc. Set the distance at 14 millimeters. 6 millimeters of the radius. 18 millimeters of length. 10 millimeters the distance from right edge. Close with line. Tangent. On the feature toolbar, choose split. Click cut part. Select cut bodies. OK. On the top plane, choose draft. Set draft angle at 5 degrees. Reverse direction. Then select parting line. OK. Set fillet radius on the corner edge at 1 millimeter. OK. And set fillet radius on the other edges at 0.8 millimeters. Hide sketch. OK. On the side face, create sketch. Choose sketch rectangle. Set width at 16.6 millimeters. Height at 14.5 millimeters. 
Change bottom line to construction geometry. Choose offset entities. Set the distance at 3.5 millimeters. And 4.5 millimeters. Trim entities on the corner options. Close the sketch with line on the bottom. OK, then choose Extruded Boss. Set the distance at 10.5 millimeters. OK. Set draft with neutral plane. And one degree of draft angle. Select faces to draft. OK. Thank you. Keep following the next video. See you later.